Hi. Hello again. Hi. Welcome back to the GSENC English podcast. Our second interview with Dylan. Here I am again. Yeah. So Dylan is back for his uh, second episode. Hopefully you enjoyed last time.、Um, we all still miss Lawton very, very terribly. It's、uh, very difficult for us to deal with. But we will survive. I know you're all coping at home,、um, so you'll see him around the office, I'm sure. So if you, say, if you see Lawton, say hello.、Um, we miss him terribly.、Um, so、um, our, we have today a new episode for you with a dialogue.、Mm -hmm. um, our dialogue today is about what? It's about health. And things related to your health and the way we discuss our health with our co workers、uh -huh. or friends.、Yeah. Okay, so it's a very common、um, conversation, very、yeah. common thing we talk about.、Um, so it's a dialogue.、Yeah. So this season, with our dialogues,、um, we are not doing comprehension questions, we are doing some errors.、Yeah. So built into this dialogue, there are two errors. Yep,、yeah. very common errors that I hear. Exactly. So try to listen very, very carefully and see if you can pick up on those errors. Hey, you look really tired. Are you feeling okay? I'm just feeling a little under the weather. I think I'm catching a cold and, and I have a splitting headache. That's too bad. I'm also not feeling too good. What's wrong? I don't know, but my, my body condition is not good. Really? I think you look like you're in great shape right now. You've lost some weight recently, haven't you? I've lost my weight, but I'm feeling very stressed. Well, try to take it easy this weekend, and I'm sure you'll feel better on Monday. Will do. You must go and see your doctor right now. Don't worry, I'll be fine. Hey, you look really tired. Are you feeling okay? I'm just feeling a little under the weather. I think I'm catching a cold and, and I have a splitting headache. That's too bad. I'm also not feeling too good. What's wrong? I don't know, but my, my body condition is not good. Really? I think you look like you're in great shape right now. You've lost some weight recently, haven't you? I've lost my weight, but I'm feeling very stressed. Well, try to take it easy this weekend and I'm sure you'll feel better on Monday. Will do. You must go and see your doctor right now. Don't worry, I'll be fine. So, that was our dialogue there. Did you recognize one of those voices? Who could that have been? Begins with an L. <laughs> Begins with an L. And, well. Ends with an Autumn. A man of many, many talents. Maybe the most talented. Well, some may say, some might say that, yeah. But、um, so today, today、uh, yeah, so we had that dialogue.、Um, there were, as we said before, two errors in there. Did you pick up on the errors? Hopefully you did. What was the first one? Okay, so the first one,、um, and I hear this so often, is about my body condition is not good. My, my body condition is not good? Yeah. That's wrong. It, it is wrong. It is wrong. Oh, it's wrong.、Okay. Yes.、Um, because really, I mean, to me, as a native speaker, that means nothing. It really has no meaning. I can kind of understand what you mean. Yeah. But really, that's not the way we speak about our body or about feeling well or unwell. So, what would be a better way、um, of talking about yourself if you don't feel well?、Um, my body condition is not good. Yeah, you would just. We would probably be more specific about what is wrong.、Um, so, in Korea, I think we talk about just the general the body. We don't really talk about our body, and certainly we don't say body condition.、Mm. We would say something like, oh, I'm feeling tired. I've got, just, I've got no energy.、Mm. I've got a headache, stomachache, sore throat.、Yeah. Um, or just simply, I'm not feeling so well.、Yeah. I'm not feeling great. Um, so, I remember the first time I came to Korea and somebody said to me, My body condition is not good. I literally did not understand what they meant.、Mm -hmm. It is just not an expression we use in English. So,、yeah. try and avoid that. If you're not feeling great, just say, Oh, I'm not feeling so good. I didn't sleep too well last night. I'm not feeling very well.、Yeah. I have a headache. Yeah. 
I think that's the safe way to do it. If you want to be general, just say, I don't feel well, or I feel sick, or I feel ill, or be specific. I have a headache. Um, I didn't sleep well last night. Something like that. Exactly. Yeah. So, our second um, common error that we hear. So this is just a small one, um, but it's, I've lost my weight. Where did you lose it? I don't know. Can you help me find it? <laughs> I don't know. Um, I'm not sure. Yeah. So <laughs> is it a heavy weight? weight? <laughs> I, I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> so losing weight, you know, we can just say, um, oh, you know, recently I've been exercising hard, so um, I've lost some weight or I've, I've lost a little bit of weight. We don't tend to use my or your with losing weight. Or you could just say, I've lost weight. Yeah. Sure. I've lost weight. You can't lose someone else's weight. Hmm. You can only lose your weight. So we say, I've lost weight, or I've lost some weight, I've lost a little weight. Yeah. What's the opposite of that? So the opposite would be either to gain weight, mm -hmm. or put on is, is, is quite the common expression. Mm. Um, you know, uh, recently I visited the UK. Mm -hmm. I ate a lot of fish and chips. Oh, really? I've got, I've got to be honest. Um, far too much fish and chips. So I gained, uh, I put on about two kilograms of weight while I was in the UK. So very simply, yeah, I put on weight. I'd be quite happy to put on weight eating fish and chips and pies and I mean, things. Right? And <laughs> I, I was very happy, but now I need to exercise much, much harder to lose that weight. Yeah, so we need to lose, we both need to lose some weight. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. So, um, very common error there. Yeah. Um, so just try to avoid that, just say, or I've lost weight, or I've gained weight. Yep. There you go. Quick, simple fix. All right. Um, our, okay, those are our common errors today. Mm. Now let's take a look at some key expressions from the dialogue. Yep. Okay, so some key expressions from the dialogue, some idioms, some useful phrases that you could use to talk about health in the dialogue. What was the first one? So the first common expression or key expression I'd like mm. to point out is um, feeling under the weather. So in the dialogue, um, you should have heard someone say, I'm just feeling a little under the weather. So the expression would be to feel under the weather. That's a bit strange. What does that mean, to feel? Uh, under the sun? Under the rain? Yeah, I, to be honest, I've no idea where it comes from. But what does it mean? But it just means, it just means to feel unwell. To feel not great. Mm -hmm. Previously we talked about common errors where you could say, oh my body condition is not, is not good. We wouldn't say that. We would often say, I'm feeling a little under the weather. Yeah. It just means, I'm not feeling so well. Yeah, Maybe, it feels like it's raining on me a little bit, or... Yeah, I just... know. So yeah, just don't you don't feel good. You don't yeah. feel well. So that's the first one when you feel under the weather. Yeah, yeah. Um, so what was our second one? The second one is to do with having a headache, but not any kind of headache, a very severe, strong headache, and that is a splitting headache. So in the dialogue, you would have heard someone say, I think I'm catching a cold, and I have a splitting headache. So split to split something. Imagine you have a headache and it feels like your head is being split into two. That would be the very definition of a splitting headache. A splitting headache. Yes. Does not sound very pleasant. No. Mm. And catching a cold as well is another good expression there. Yeah. Remember, you catch a cold. Mm -hmm. um, but really, the one we're looking at today is a splitting headache. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, that's a good, another useful expression for you. We've got one more. What's that? And that is to be in shape to be in shape. So in the dialogue, uh, we heard someone say, um, I think you look like you're in great shape. You're in great shape. So the expression would be to be in shape. Mm. And what does it mean to be in shape? It just means to be fit and healthy, to be in good shape. Maybe you've got good muscles, you're quite thin. Is there anyone you know who's in great shape? <sighs> Someone springs to mind. Begins with an L. <laughs> Always on our mind. <laughs> so what would be the opposite? So for, for me, I would like to say that I'm not in great shape at the moment. So how could I? You could say you're out of shape. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so, so to be in shape or to be out of shape. Yeah. Yeah, so quite simple. Um, but yeah, try and use those expressions. Um, mm -hmm. If you're talking about health or fitness in the future. Yeah, I mean, for me, Definitely, I would say that I'm out of shape at the moment and I would want to get back in shape uh, get, at some point in the future. Maybe get, lose this 
spare tire that I have <laughs> around my belly. Okay. Out of shape, back in shape. Um, yeah. to be in shape yeah okay so it's a very useful expression there okay now let's look at one little cultural difference um that we there is between the west and korea mm. when talking about health yeah okay so we have today a little cultural language point that's slightly different between the Korea and the West. Mm. And what is that? So in the dialogue, you hear someone say, um, you must go to the hospital. You must go to the hospital. Yeah. For a cold. For a cold. Or just for feeling unwell. Yeah. Is that normal? It's not, no, no. So in, in, in the West, um, Hospital. A hospital is what we would think of in Korea as the very, very large mm. university hospitals um, where you have to be kind of referred there or it's an emergency room. Yeah. So you only go to the hospital for those really serious situations, emergency surgery or maybe for some kind of specialist treatment. Yeah. Um, if it's just a cold or you're not feeling well, where would you go? You would just, we would just say to go and see the doctor mm -hmm. or we'd go to a clinic to get a checkup. Mm -hmm. So the small doctor's practices, or we do call them doctor's surgeries around the office, those are not what we would call hospitals. Mm -hmm. They would just be a, a doctor's practice or a doctor's surgery. Yeah. So you just say, go and see the doctor. Yeah. Okay, so if someone has a cold, don't tell them that they need to go to hospital. You might make them very scared. Yeah. Okay. All right. So those are, that's all the information for you today. We had some very useful common errors. So your body condition is not good. Try to avoid that. Yep. Um, we got to lose your weight, lose my weight. No, mm. just lose weight. Yep. We had the key expressions. The expressions, feeling under the weather. Mm -hmm. um, so a good way of describing how you feel, to have a splitting headache um, and to be in shape. And uh, those are good three expressions there that you can uh, use in the future. All right. So, um, yeah, so that's all the time we have for today. As always, if you're on YouTube, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. If you're on EP, send your comments below. Give us some feedback. We would love to hear from you. And if you want to study English, what can they do? You can register for our morning programs. You can register for our BC programs like Yongin and Namchon. There are the uh, VOCA, Weiwa VOCA program that you can use. There are a number of ways that you can keep on improving your English. All right. So get after it and I will see you, we will see you next week with another episode of the podcast. See you then. Bye-bye.